Hey, hey DMS, DMS, it's Nick. And Amani, welcome back to another DMS broadcast. Hey Nick, do you know what time of year it is? No, I don't. It's graduation time. Did you know the seniors walk through the halls? Yes, I did. Sending it over to Phoebe and Rosie for highlights. What's all that noise? I heard that all the seniors are walking through their old schools. That's probably why. Wow, that's so cool. Let's go check it out. Wow, that was really great to see them. Yeah, it was, but did you hear about the tragedy that happened afterwards? No, what happened? I don't know, but I heard Molly and Kinley have all the evidence. Oh my gosh, what happened to Molly? Let's go look in the library to find out what happened. What is the LMC murder mystery? Um, so we have killed off Spongebob this year and um, his body outline is in here with crime scene tape and um, students come in during their ELA class to try to figure out who the murderer was and how he was murdered. When will the answer be revealed? Um, actually, there will be um, mug shots of the murderer on um, the library doors on Friday. What inspired you to do the LMC murder mystery? Um, when I was in my last building, we did a an evening murder mystery big production um, that I absolutely love doing, and I wanted everybody to be able to participate though, so I figured if I did something on a smaller scale that we could do within a class period, then all of ELA could come in and um, work through all the clues. I'm so happy my case was finally solved. I'm so glad that LMC murder mystery helps solve Molly's murder mystery. So who did it in the end? It was Miss Baker. Solving it back to the anchors. Wow, I'm so glad they solved that mystery. Yeah, me too, but Nick, why do you have those glasses on? There's a solar eclipse. Stella, did you see the eclipse? No, I didn't. Well, it was really cool. Well, maybe we should go ask someone about it. Hey Molly, what was your favorite part of the eclipse? Um, probably like seeing it because you don't really get to see many in your life. Cool. Molly, what did you do for the eclipse? Um, we went outside during class and we just like hung out with our friends and looked at the eclipse. Wow, that seems so fun. That's all I have for today. Sending it back to the anchors. Wow, that was bright. But do you know what else is bright? The kids that won the student of the month.
as we celebrate the achievements of our student of the month. Let's also gear up for the next challenge ahead, testing. What testing, Imani? Map testing. Hey, Serenity, have you heard about how testing is starting soon? No, but I want to hear more about it. Yeah, I wonder what Dr. Dickerson has to say about it. How long is testing going to last? So testing lasts about three weeks. So we don't test every day during the week, but we have a week for science for eighth graders, a week for ELA for everybody. So all sixth, seventh, and eighth graders take ELA. And then we have a week for math. And so sixth, seventh, and eighth will also take math. What testing is every grade gonna take? So sixth and seventh graders take math and ELA, and then eighth graders take math, ELA, and science. When is testing gonna start? So on April 30th, we will begin science testing for eighth grade students. On those days that we do eighth grade science testing, sixth and seventh graders will do math prep for ELA and for math. And then we will all test beginning on May 6th. So that will be the first day of ELA testing building wide. What tips would you like to give us about testing? So I think first get a good night's sleep, um, wake up and have a healthy breakfast. Um, food will help you focus and sleep will help you focus as well. Uh, make sure that you're prepared that you have a charged iPad in the morning. We do, don't have extra iPads just hanging out in the building. So it's super important that you have your iPad charged and ready to go and that you have headphones. Um, that are comfortable because there is a listening section that happens in the ELA portion of it. And really just take your time and try your hardest. Um, there is no prize for finishing first. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to show us what you know and what you have learned this year. And so take your time and, and try the best that you can. Wow, I think I'm ready for testing now. Yeah, same. Good luck on testing, DMS. Thanks for all the information about testing. Now it's time to shine the light on the next advisory spotlight. Mr. Schechinger's advisory looks pretty fantastic. And with all of those highlights, it's time to end this week's broadcast. Don't forget, be respectful, be responsible, and, and cause, cause kindness. kindness. Bye, Bye DMS. DMS.